Well, good morning, everybody. Old Dan here with you again. Hey, listen. It's a fine Thursday morning here in Texas, and I hope you're having a good day, too. I got to uh, got to give you a little update. I, uh, I stepped on the scale this morning like I had a stroke. It said 242. <laughs> that wasn't right. I knew it wasn't. Uh, so... I looked closely at my scale, and it was sitting a little bit wumpy jawed. So, I got it sitting in the right spot, and like it's supposed to be, and it was 247.4. So, down two tenths from where it was yesterday, and I'll take it. That's two tenths less than I had it yesterday. And, buddy, two tenths is two tenths. Business is business. I'm, I'm, I'll take it all day. So we're still making progress, and uh, uh, y'all, uh, y'all just keep tuning in. I'll keep keeping you updated, man. I'll take it. Um, but uh, I went, I went blank for a minute on what I was going to say. That's crazy, ain't it? Anyhow, so then I come over here to my computer and uh, been watching the YouTube videos and stuff. All my scratch off buddies. I don't, I don't make the scratch-off videos. I can't afford to scratch-off tickets right now. But uh, <laughs> that's all right. I get a lot of fun out of watching the guys scratch off on the YouTube videos and stuff. But uh, I've been watching a lot of those and a lot of videos of uh, the concealed carry people because I do, do, I do have my concealed carry license, and, and I do carry. So I, get to, I watch things that I'm interested in or that I do get to do every now and then. And uh, I'm watching those, and... You know, just having a good time. And uh, my brother's called me this morning, I think about six times, but, uh, you know, off and on. But uh, he uh, he calls me every day, or I call him one or the other. We, uh, we're close in age. He's, uh, he's two years older than me. And uh, we call every day and talk, uh, usually for 30 or 45 minutes, if not, if not longer. And uh, people think that's strange, but, you know, we're all we got. Uh, of the mixed clan that lived in Gladewater, Texas, uh, our nuclear family, whatever you want to call it, the, the ones, mom and dad and me and my brother, of those, of that group, it's just me and him left. And so we talk every day because you never know about tomorrow or this afternoon. So we talk every chance we get, you know, I, uh, I do. Um, I know, I know, uh, when my mother died, I had, uh, I had planned to call her on that Monday morning. And I put it off until Tuesday. And I got busy on Tuesday and forgot. And then, uh, so I said, well, Wednesday morning, I'm calling her for sure. Well, Wednesday morning at 7.30, uh, I got a call from my brother saying that Mama was was headed to the hospital in the ambulance. And uh, that was it. She, she went into a, uh, I guess you'd call it a coma. They put her on life support. Uh, and I had to drive, I drove all day and all night to uh, get to where, where they were. And, uh, you know, I missed my opportunity, my last opportunity. So I talk to my brother every day, every day. And I, it don't bother me that we talk six times a day. That, that don't bother me. And people think I'm crazy or we're crazy, and, and that don't bother me. <laughs> uh, you may think I'm crazy, and that don't bother me. I enjoy it. But uh, anyway, we've already talked this morning for quite a while, and uh, that was fun. And now I'm thinking about going in here and putting a big whooping on a turkey sandwich. And uh, if I can find some mustard and stuff in there to put on it, oh, yeah, it's on like popcorn. Anyhow, um, been, a, been a good day so far. The sun's outside, right? The sun's out there shining right now. Looks good outside, buddy. The chirps are a burping. I mean, the birds are a chirping. Man, you can't beat that. And uh, uh, one one other note on a whole different slant. Uh, my youngest is 16, and he's been feeling bad for about four or five days. So yesterday uh, morning, uh, I took him down to uh, this little uh, doctor's place, and they do the rapid COVID test. They give you results in like 15 minutes. And uh, he tested positive for the COVID. 
So, you know, he's feeling he's feeling okay this morning. And he's feeling better. So, uh, he still has, you know, nine more days or so to quarantine. And so, counting today. And uh, he, he ain't enjoying that too much. But he's, he's like any other teenager. He's stuck off in his room anyway all the time. So, he, he's, you know, nothing's changing there. He's stuck in his room with the TV and games and my wife put a bag of snacks in there for him so he uh he's he's got food so you know maybe i'll see him maybe i won't but anyway if y'all get a chance you think about it get send a prayer up for him he, he can at least keep his sanity while he's in there and uh, i'd appreciate that listen y'all have a great day i gotta get out of here i got to have some food or i'm gonna waste away to nothing i mean i might make 246 pounds just dwindling away i mean like you know dry up and blow away anyhow um you guys have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video